Hello everyone, welcome back to BP22 tutorials and today we came up with an interesting concept wherein I got a request that please prepare videos related to ideas and initiative. So today we came up with a good idea wherein we will learn about how to use dependent drop down and we will prepare one tool here. Basically guys, the tool actually says here is for an example you are working with one e-commerce process uh, e-commerce in the sense which is uh, such kind of uh, Amazon or Flipkart okay uh, so wherein what is happening here you have an employees who are working uh, on the calls or chat wherein they are getting different concern suppose if you don't have SME support for you or else I can say subject matter expert is not there you are only the one who is handling the team you can create such tool guys it will work like a smart SME tool Okay, so before moving to this video, I would like everyone to please share, subscribe the channel. Also click on bell icon and uh, get all the notification for the upcoming videos. Do cross check the playlist, you will find videos related to Six Sigma certification, trainers, operation, quality, MS Excel, Google Data Studio, people management, many more dashboards related videos are there. So don't, don't uh, miss to learn all the things guys, this will definitely help you in your ongoing role. So let's start the today's video that is on smart SME tool. Suppose I am working with e-commerce project wherein I am handling a call or chat. I got a concern that customer is asking I uh, can I purchase the mobile uh, in a COD. So what I have done I have selected the category as mobile. I am just choosing here as COD is possible. It will give me like no only prepaid is possible. The second question he asks, refund is possible. I mentioned no, only replacement is possible. So this is a kind of a guide which will help your employees to get their answers in real time. Without wasting the time, it will help you to increase uh, in a good, in a scores, reduce the waiting time and the cost will get also Im uh, improved here. So this is all about this tool. Let's start and learn how this tool got prepared so before moving to that I will delete this entire thing okay I'll delete this and let, let's start it fresh so I have two tabs the one is database the another is tool I have created a database with the name of three things like either category then concern then solution now I divided my process categories in different way for, for an example while handling the caller chat, I'm getting concerns related to refund, cancellation. I'm basically working with an e-commerce project wherein we are only dealing with mobiles and clothing. So I have added few concerns. Suppose anyone is coming and asking that, uh, can I get a refund after the seven days of delivery of the product? I'm telling that no, the refund is not possible. In this way, you can add thousands of your concerns here, thousands of your concerns. Okay, the only thing is you just need to select the category and you will get your solution and answers over here. How this got prepared? So first you need to prepare your database in such way. Okay, now what you need to do? Near to uh, leaving three to four columns, you need to add one more column here that is a concern. Here we will add our uh, some functions over here. We will use filter function equal to F-I-L-T-E-R. Are you able to see this in the filter you will select the concern the C column range from starting to the end now your concern will not get end to 12 right you will add many more concern here so what you need to do in the formula select C4 to C12 no you will select C4 to C which means the upcoming column where you are adding in the C in the upcoming row automatically it will get selected now comma you will select B from B to B4 to last okay but again here same you will select till B correct because many more uh, things will get added now you will add equal to and you will move to smart SME tool and here you have a category column you will select this close your bracket done this is all you have to do now what you will do you will go to smart SME tool here you will add a drop down which automatically take the drop downs the, the categories which are available here how you can do that go to your smart tool go to the category go to insert click on drop down in the right hand side you will get option of 
apply to the range and criteria in the criteria you will select drop down from the range you will get one more cell enabled you need to click on that four corner box you will select here move to database you will select your all the categories whatever categories are same here again your categories will not get n to b12 it will move to further as well so you will just select b4 to b b4 in the sense because i have started my uh, refund and all the information from fourth row and the b b row and fourth column that is the reason you will do okay so if you go to smart sme tool automatically you will get the categories got added here if you select here refund so guys see here i have added my formula here na concern automatically you can see in the refund we have added two concerns it is showing two concerns over here now if i select cancellation if i select cancellation automatically you can see three three possible concerns i have added here you can add many more it, it there was a reflecting here now what i will do i want this concern to be reflecting here i will use data validation go to data click on data validation you will click here add new rule same you will select drop down from the range you will select the last corner of the box go to database now you need to select the range you will select the range from this particular formula same h4 to h6 no the there may be multiple concerns so you will go with h4 to h which means the all the upcoming concerns will be getting added here done just close it now let's see in this smart tool now i will select first mobile if i go to category yes i got refund possible on mobile cod possible on mobile you can see here i have added only two particular concerns for the mobile as of now all my concerns are visible here right now i want a solution here you will use v lookup okay you will use v lookup bracket open select ef5 which means your concern comma if you don't know how to apply v lookup go to my playlist you will find video related to it even i will add that in our uh, description as well it is very easy go to your database select all the concerns okay c3 to c12 again it will not end it to c12 right it will move further also comma sorry it got wrong again we will add equal to v lookup select the concern column comma f5 now go to database select concern as well as solution both from okay concern as well as solution now this concern and solution will not get ended so i'll select c and d both comma now concern i want solution solution is after the concern which means the concern is at a first place as per my v lookup and uh, solution is at a second place so i will do 2 comma 0 this is the basic formula v lookup guys you can easily get it from our video done now let's select the categories i'll select clothing okay i got two concerns yes refund possible on clothing yes refund is possible please check refund policies cod is possible yes cod is possible i got my answers let's go to mobile mobile i'll got two possible refund is possible in the mobile i got no only replacement is possible cod is possible on the mobile no only prepaid is possible i'm getting all my answers which i have added in my database cancellation i'll get three concerns here yes if i'm selecting cancellation done uh, after seven days after seven days if i do no cancellation accepted if i do prior it will say yes cancellation accepted see guys it will work like in smart sme you no need your team no need required an sme or expert support here the tool will give you an expertise support just you need to add your database perfectly guys i hope this will really help us you may have a concern like if i have multiple columns yes you can use it with the multiple column also just you need to use concern you will use one more column here you will again use the filter option and again you will use the vlookup your con your your uh, solution will get uh, added here it is very much easy to do guys please use it create a project on it you can show that the waiting time will get reduced you will also able to show that uh, the cost will get reduced you will also show that the support required is also get reduced okay this is all about the smart sme tool prepare the project on it do share subscribe the channel if you have any doubt please let me know share comment feedback and don't miss to subscribe the channel thanks a lot thanks for watching have a great day